Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm yes. here in Belfast with me, we've got former IBF World Champion Lee Haskins. First and foremost, how are you? Yeah, good I'm good back. actually. Yeah, it is good to be back. It's nice to be back in the, you know, biggish kind of fight. Mm -hmm. um, fight for an, an, a nice little title. So it's, it's decent, you know, I've, I've been off for quite a little while. I've had two little kind of comeback fights, but nothing on a big scale. So this is a nice, it's a nice challenge for me. And, um, you know, one that I'm looking very, very forward to. Was it 2017 you stopped and you came back in 2019, so you've had like a two year break? Yeah, like a two year break. What was the, yeah. what was the reason for coming back? The reason for coming Ed back, Knuckles? you know, I've always, yeah, kind of. <laughs> I think this has fires, we just kind of miss it. But because I'm constantly in the gym anyway, because I'm always with my son, mm -hmm. um, getting him ready for his fights and stuff. So, you know, I'm always training. I've never stopped training, even when, because even in two years that I was off, I still believed I was going to fight during that time, I just didn't know when. So I was always constantly training anyway. Um, but then it just come for the time that I said, yes, I need to come back. I, I, you know, like Rocky said, he still had a little bit more in the basement and I felt like I had a little bit left in me. And, you know, I'd want to see if I could do it for myself. It was good to see if I can make the weight, which is, a, it was, a, which is good for myself. Um, you know, I just want to see if I can still do everything in a training camp. And, you know, I did it and I'm um, looking forward to it. Talk to me a bit, David, on the Joyce then. I mean, well, Olympian, his amateur record is speaks for itself really. Your professional record up until now speaks for itself. Yeah. I mean, your experience as a pro, do you think that will play into this fight? Um, you know, I hope so. It's just we're going to uh, find out on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've, I've, I've watched a little bit of um, Oliver Joyce. Uh, you know, I just... He's a, he's a bit of a pressure fighter. He just seems to come forward. That's all I kind of, I've, I've noticed on him. Um, apart from that, you know, I've, I've not seen anything, you know, out of the, out of the unusual. You know, I've, 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 I've definitely fought people like that before, I think. WBO European title. I mean, yeah. you've won, you mentioned it there at the press conference, you've started from English, you've went up to yeah, British, Congo, European, yeah, world Yeah, prize title. fighter world, I mean, yeah. WBO European, that's one you don't have. Yeah, that's one I don't have, that's <laughs> why I'm here, you know, because it just speaks something good to have on the mantelpiece. It's another one, and it, I'm at the moment, I'm not about... I don't ever think I'm going to be a world champion again, I don't ever plan on becoming a world champion again, but now... You know, I'm gonna. I'm coming to the end of my career. I just want to see if I can add anything else to my legacy. Another little belt in the cupboard. Um, you know, um, say I've won this one because I have pretty much won everything. So it'd be nice to think that I've won this one as well. You know, at the age of 37, where I'm apparently old and kind of finished. Well, same age as me, so and you look younger than me. Yeah. You take punches from me, so. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's just to see what else I can add to my legacy. And um, you know, I wanna. I got two sons and a daughter at home, and I wanna show them I'm at the age of 37, but I'm still working hard to compete and show them I'm not quitting and you know uh, is, is, is all a life lesson for my kids that's why I do this most of the time. Well, that's, that's perfectly said but again you win this WBO European you've, you've got a top 15 ranking. Yeah. You say you've not got plans to, to win a world title but no. if you get that top 15 ranking and then that call comes. Oh I'll be there in a heartbeat yeah 100% um, but that's it I'm, I have no plans to go no further than mm. Than, than further than this belt, you know, I just want to see, I just take yeah, just every... Just one fight at a time for you, really? Yeah, just one fight at a time, and just see how it goes, uh, you know, I'm kind of... If I was to lose uh, on Saturday, that would... I would probably retire now, there would be enough for me to say, okay, I was better, probably better off retiring. But I've always said to myself, from now, I will keep competing until I lose, to my next loss. Mm -hmm. And then I'll retire and concentrate on my son fully. Well, I'll, I'll talk about you some uh, in a minute. I'll just talk about this Belfast crowd. You fought here against Ryan Burnett, but the Ulster Hall's got like a York Hall feel to it. I mean, it's yeah, a cold York Hall, yeah. Uh, you've probably never boxed it before. I've been there a few times with fights. Mm -hmm. It's a great little venue. Just talk about the Belfast crowd and and fighting in Belfast. Yeah, um, I enjoy it. I'm, 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 I enjoy going away fighting in, in all the, it's for, it, anywhere I can. You know, it's, it's you know, it was a trip. Um, you know, and I enjoy getting away. Uh, there's less pressure. Um, so I enjoy it, you know, the crowds don't really, they don't really bother me too much, you know, I'm just, you know, wherever we got a bad crowd or a good crowd, we're still going to have a fight and, you know, I kind of, I'm kind of veteran to this, I know, I know the score, I know I'm, I've got to be hated I've, and, um, and that's the way it goes, you know, but, you know, I'm just going to get in there and do me and worry about myself and hopefully I perform up to my ability. It's going to be your 41st fight, just to clarify. Is it? Yeah, 41st, I wasn't too sure if it's 41st yeah. or 41st. So, you, talk, you spoke about your, your son, I mean, yeah. he's obviously in the boxing game. Yeah. Uh, is it nervous for you? How, are you more nervous for your own fight or are you more nervous for your son's fight? 100% for his fight because yeah. I'm not in... in, in um, Control. Control of yeah, it, yeah. yeah. So it's so worrying and he doesn't listen. He just had his first professional fight not too long ago. He's boxing again on the 29th of this month. 
um, you know, so we've both been preparing together, we work hard together, that's what, he keeps me young, you know, because I've got to keep up with everything that he kind of does. So, um, yeah, but it's much nerve-wracking for him, I'd rather him to say, listen, Dad, I'd rather quit. I'd be like, yes, good, let's go, <laughs> let's do something else. Is there never any chance of you and him fighting on the same card? Uh, yeah, we fought on that. We oh, did the, you? Yeah, we were oh, the first okay. uh, father and son to ever, ever in the history of boxing to box on a professional show together. So um, that was our, his first professional fight, and that was my last fight. Yeah, we boxed on the same show in Bristol. Oh, brilliant. Well, yeah, I won't keep you much longer. Yeah, Obviously, thank you. You'll be yeah. at the way tomorrow, so I'll see you there, and yeah. good luck on Saturday night. Our pleasure, good to meet you as well. Thank okay. you very much. You too, man. Thank you. Gold Star Promotions is proud to present Floyd Money Mayweather. The man himself is coming to the UK for his UK tour, February and March 2020. For all info and tickets, goldstarpromotions.co.uk.